Hi, good people. Hi, TIs. It's Sherry, and I'm here with some free and valuable information, some information that is going to help you to benefit yourselves as well as each other. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the effects of L'Oreal Colorista Rose Gold Colored Hairspray uh, one day. So it's a temporary spray. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like on a synthetic wig. Okay, so here's our wig here. I've named it Julie. Uh, if you guys didn't know, wigs have, you know, you name them, they come with names, and then you can rename them. I digress. It's a wonderful tool. Okay, so this Julie specimen here, you notice it's a mixture of uh, dark brown ombre roots, and then it fades down to like a caramely brown, uh, you know, dark blonde, light brown type of thing. Okay, so we're going to use this L'Oreal Colorista one day color spray on this synthetic wig. This is not human hair. This is synthetic, which is a blend of sorts. Okay. You, which means you can't color synthetic. So I can't take a regular dye and color this, which I could do with human hair with a human wig. Okay. Um, so that's what we're doing today. All right. This is going to this, both of these products, the wig and the spray are quality and budget friendly and they do what they say they will do they work okay um so don't forget to hit like and subscribe and the notification bell that way you get notified when i release new content any any um any channels on youtube when you hit the the bell notification it just notifies you when the person releases a new video so don't just subscribe and then if you don't hit the notification bell you won't know when the person releases new videos and you'd have to go back and double check and all that and just it's better to organize your content like that so hit the notification bell don't forget that piece all right um and then don't forget to stay till the end so you get all the benefits and then i'll tell you what i rated this on a five a five star rating okay and i've done my research so stay till the end all right excuse me i have a little vix under my nose here so it's doing a little shiny action plus it's 85 degrees here in the midwest loving it and i haven't i'm such a cheapskate i haven't turned on the air conditioner because i'm trying to you know withstand so i got the fans going but um you know with the makeup and everything and the lights it's kind of warm i digress anyways we're gonna get through this okay so i'm sherry all right, this is my channel. I'm not a professional, all right? Obviously, um, my qualifications is I do have experience, lots of experience wearing these wigs, okay? They are a game changer and a life saver for if you have any problems with your hair. If you have frizzy hair, um, you know, if you wanna change your hair color, um, if you want to, you know, uh, if you have long hair and want to try shorter hair, this is a great way to do it. These things are so versatile, you know, and it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful buy. And in, in the summertime, you know, when it's frizzy, when your hair is frizzy, summertime can be like a, a frizzy haired girl's worst, worst time of the year, you know, because it just wants to poof. All right. And, and, you know, if you want a sleek style and you're trying to be professional and whatever, this, these wigs are very valuable. Okay as well as this spray. I've used this on my real hair, um, so and it's worked well. I'll do a video on that again, but um, but yeah, so both high quality, budget-friendly products that work, okay? You're gonna love this. So with my research and reviews, I want to um, help you and show you quality, budget-friendly products that do what they say they will do, okay? I kinda wanna highlight them for you. So you know, if you wanna go to the store and buy them or order them online, you know what, I wanna share what works, okay? So, and I also use my research and my reviews and I, I give a five-star rating, you know, to save you time and money. You know, just just to just to find out, get get a person's experience that actually has tried the product. Okay, so today we are reviewing L'Oreal Colorista Spray One Day Hairspray Color. Okay, and this is in rose gold. All right. Okay. So um, again, I guess the the issue would be that uh, okay. So recently, I just got my hair colored. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's it's. I went with a light red. Okay, and I regret that I didn't have her smudge the roots and make my roots dark. As a general rule of thumb, um, and you guys know this about hair color, or maybe you don't, but this is a little tip. It's always good, even if you're going with a lighter color, even something like a red or a blonde doesn't matter. Always still keep your roots dark and then that frames your face better, okay? Even you can have color, um, it's it's the contrast of it, you know, like picture, picture a picture and then picture the frame 
around the picture, okay? You want something to frame the face and dark roots tend to do that. I digress. So I'm going to go back in in a couple weeks and have uh, have the lady smudge my roots for me and make them back dark. You know, that gives a little contrast. I digress. So anyways, uh, my hair was done yesterday. Perfectly flat ironed, um, you know, uh, and then I slept on it, got up, took a shower, worked out, took a couple, took the dog for a couple walks around the neighborhood. It's 85 degrees. And my hair went from flat iron to, I'll show you, this is now, excuse me, this is what we're working with right now. Okay. And this is, I've actually blow dried this. And so I still have to go over this with a flat iron, you know, to get that smooth look. But right now, this is not um, the look that I'm necessarily going for, right? It's very voluminous. It's very, it's frizz, you know, we've done, we've talked about it. I mix, we get this frizz going on. It's coarse, you know, it's, it's, it's oiled and everything, but it, it's frizzy. So, and I don't want to wear it like that. And I don't know if I'll have time in the morning to go ahead and flat iron it. So I figured I better have a good backup wig. Okay. And since it's summer, nice color to go with rose gold. Okay. Okay. So, um, frizzy kinky hair. Like I said, my hair fights to be kinky. It was flat iron straight yesterday. It went, it reverted right back. Even, and I also have a relaxer in my hair. So many of you guys do too. Um, and it just, you know, again, that's why these wigs are a wonderful tool wonderful okay when your real hair doesn't want to act right don't waste time don't get frustrated you know and as women we have a standard you know we want to try to maintain and when your hair is not acting right that that throws the whole thing off so wigs are are versatile wonderful synthetic um also the human hair um we'll get into that a little bit but yeah wigs are also good too um if you want different colors like i said you know i just got my hair colored and it's red okay but, you know, this is a little blonde action one, dark blonde with the ombre. And uh, what I really wanted when I had the lady do it red was I wanted a rose um, gold color. So, but then we kind of decided on a light red, which is fine. But I still want to, I want to try the rose gold look because I know that, you know, that, that look really appeals to me as many of you, especially if you have warm, um, you know, undertones in your skin. It looks really wonderful. So... Okay, so the problem would be frizzy hair. It's not the color you want. You want to try out a, try out a different color. Um, you know, you want to see what's going on. Maybe you want to try out a wig. Okay, so the solution, synthetic wig, okay? This one I bought from the local beauty supply store. It was $60 or even a little less, okay? Now, they can get pricier the longer you get, um, you know, because obviously it's more hair, more product, but um, usually the short little bobs, which is what I go with, especially in the summer, they're at, you know, $60 and under. Sometimes I usually only pay about $35. This one was a little more, and I think it's higher quality because it's actually thinner, if that makes sense. It's very lightweight, this wig, you know. Um, it It's just, uh, you know, when you feel it, it's light com in comparison to other wigs, even short bob wigs you know, so, um, it's light feeling, it's the correct head size for me, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to that when you're ordering a wig, you think, oh, it's a wig, it'll fit, one size fits all, actually, everybody has a different head size, so they come in small, medium, large, um, so, you know, if, especially if you're ordering online, make sure that you, um, that you put in your correct dimensions for your head size. Otherwise, if you get a wig that's too big, it looks like you have a helmet, okay? And <laughs> if you get a wig that's too small, it's like scrunching your scalp, so then it's tight and that's not healthy. So just be aware of that. They do come in different sizes. Okay, now this one, this one is actually has combs in it. I just wanted to point this out real quick. This one, I'll try it on so you guys can see it, but this one has like combs in the front of it that okay so when you put it on these combs okay go into your hair and that's how it anchors there okay and there's one on each side and there's one in the back and i have had very good luck with it these i've never had one i take that back i did have one fall off of my head once on a city bus but that was because i had on a head warmer it was winter time here in the midwest i had on my head warmer i had on my hoodie and then i had on my parka coat over that and i think i was in a rush and i didn't really anchor the wig like i should have and bloop i took my you know all my my three 
in my three process hoods there. I took them off and off plopped my wig on the bus floor. I have to say everybody was really nice. Nobody said a word. I look back and there was like a row of like seven people. Nobody said anything. They just all looked ahead like they didn't see it. I'm like, I know they seen it, <laughs> but they were kind. So I went ahead and scooped it up, you know, put it in my bag and went and sat down. So it wasn't the, it wasn't the worst. <laughs> it wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So I digress. So yeah, wigs, very versatile. You can buy them online. Just be careful. Watch for the sizing. Um, you know, human hair wigs are going to be a lot more expensive, but then you can color them and you can use heat on them. So I would say the human hair art is nice, but if you're a first time wig buyer and you just want to try it out, like you don't even know if you're going to be comfortable with it, um, save your money and buy the synthetic ones. They look real. Watch. I'll try it on. You'll see. Um, also too, be aware that um, wig hair, even the synthetic ones, I would say especially the synthetic ones, they tend to be a more coarser um, texture, okay? I don't know if you guys can tell on screen, but it's just coarser, which, okay, for for me being mixed, I'm half black. My hair, my natural hair also is very coarse, okay? So to me, it, it blends in and it looks and feels like my real hair, like, kind of like Barbie hair, you know? Um, not in a good way, but okay, you know, we all know what Barbie hair feels like. So, but be aware of that if you have a different texture hair that you want to buy a wig for your texture hair, okay? Because you hate to order a wig and it's the color and the size and everything and it's the wrong texture. And, you know, I think that's what people kind of get funny about. You don't want to look like, of course, you don't want to look like you're wearing a wig. And to me, with the coarser texture, it never, to me, feels wiggy because my real hair is coarse. You know, it's a little shinier than my real hair, but it's same coarseness. So keep that in mind. There's they come in different textures okay all right and the softer textures are more expensive for whatever reason okay human hair and synthetic the softer textures are just a little bit more excuse me a little bit more expensive but to have a wig is worth it okay so what else this colorista this was under ten dollars okay i ordered this um they're they're very uh they come in all different colors um, I want to say I ordered this from Amazon. Yes, I did. I ordered it from Amazon, but Walmart online had it. Um, Walgreens has it online that you can find them at the store, but they're so, I think they're so popular. They're always picked over. So it's hard to find these. Um, Ulta actually probably has the best selection that I've seen. Um, but otherwise, if you can't find them in the store, just go ahead and order them online, have them shipped to you. It's under $10. I want to say $8.49 this was, okay? And it's a 20-ounce um, can, okay? And it has a nozzle on it. But yeah, they come in different colors. It comes in red, um, dark red, pink, coral pink, pa pastel pink, um, blue, purple. I seen, what else did I see on there? They had a, um, hang on a second. They had a... Uh, yeah, red, oh, green, they had a green and a gray, you know, just all different colors, you know, and, and, and they work. This this little bottle works. I'll show you guys. It works on human hair, but we're going to see if it works on the synthetic wig. We're going to find out real quick. Okay, so um, this, again, is temporary. Okay, it's a spray. It's a good way to experiment with color if you don't have the money or if you have the money, but you just don't want to make that commitment because, you know, and this is the second day of me having my color. So, you know, I haven't washed it yet and it's not really blended and it's red. So, you know, it's very red. It's a light red. So, you know, and my hair is not flat iron. So the frizziness is accentuating the red. <laughs> but I digress. It's very pretty when it's flat ironed and everything. And, you know, as when you wear the color, any color, it, as you wash it and wear it, 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 it blends better. So, um, but if you just want a temporary, you know, a temporary f change, okay, without spending all the money and without making, maybe you want to try this color, this rose gold, without actually dyeing your hair that color because you don't know if you're going to look good in it. Well, go ahead and buy the can. And same thing, they have all the other colors. They have dark red. They have, you know, dark pink, coral pink, pastel pink, blue. You know, those are a little, you know, um, off base, but you know, I mean, <laughs> those are a little festive, I would say blue and green, you know, people do it, but, um, and that, and it looks wonderful, but, um, just for everyday, you know, hair color, these cans can work too, as a substitute to make sure you want that color before you make the commitment and actually dye it permanently. All right. So that being said, um, this washes out in one wash. However, when I did use it on my human hair before, when I used it on my hair, um, it took about two washes. Well, one wash, it was mostly out, but it took another wash to get it completely out. Okay. Um, and one way to help with that is to use clarifying shampoo. And remember we said for people with dry hair, clarifying shampoo is not good because clarifying shampoo strips your hair of all the oils. However, when you're trying to remove 
remove product from your hair, as in hair color, you definitely want something to strip it. So in that case, you want to use clarifying a clarifying type of shampoo, okay? All right, just so we're clear on that. Um, and then just make sure to moisturize very well. You know, use a really good conditioner um, when you're done, you know, stripping the color with the clarifying shampoo. Also a good swim in the swimming pool. Uh, I learned this the hard way. Had my hair dyed red <laughs> back in February. Went and took a swim at my local gym, you know, where I work out. And, um, you know, it was about two weeks later. I didn't go right away, but about two weeks later. And I thought, okay, I should be able to swim with this. And that chlorine just stripped it right out. I don't know if it was the brand that the girl used at the shop or what, but yeah, I was so disappointed. It went from like a fuchsia pinky red, which is what I was going for. And it, it, it made it like a brown red, which was still pretty, but you know, I wanted it to be bright for a little while longer, seeing as, you know, you spend a chunk of change when you get it colored. Okay, I digress. All these problems, all these third world problems, huh? All right. Um, so now, um, precautions. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I have on my hair coloring shirt. If you guys like to play with color, you should have yourself a shirt that you can use. Um, when you're using chemicals, you don't mind if it gets stained, okay? And that is this for me. All right, I want to wash my eyes because it is a spray. I don't want to get it in my eyes at all. Um, and also, too, the precautions, it's very drying. This is alcohol-based, okay? So for those of us with dry hair, it's going to make it drier, okay? So just be aware of that. Make sure it's real good and moisturized before you apply this. I'm using it on, again, the synthetic wig. So I did wash this wig. That's a good tip, too. When you guys first get wigs, if you do order them, wash them first. I use a clarifying shampoo, which is kind of stripping, but I feel like it's been through a long journey, you know, in the packaging and on the trucks and all that and on some factory floor. So I I like to use a good clarifying shampoo just to be safe hygienically and then you know you just spray it you know every once in a while and brush it out with your wig brush okay and uh wow I should not have put on that Vaseline <laughs> I put on um uh what is that Vix I put on Vix on my chest and on my nose and right before I started filming why I did that I don't know I'm getting ready for bed so that's part of my nighttime routine TMI, yeah? Okay, anyways, <laughs> your wig, now it's showing up on camera. I'm not filming this again. This is it. We're doing it. Sometimes you just got to roll through the mistakes. Okay, so here's your wig. Here's your wig brush, okay? This, this is the best kind of wig brush, too. There's other kinds. Um, like, here, I'll show you. Excuse me. Uh, there's this kind. Actually, this came in a package. You got. I got both of these. Um, but this one works the best, okay? And it, like, brushes it without stripping it. This one, not so much, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, so I'm just going to give it a good brush, even though I brushed it before, just to show you guys. And when you brush it, kind of hold it, you know, at the base so that you're not ripping the hair from the weft because it's obviously it's sewed on to the weft. So just be kind of careful with it. Okay, there you go. And normally you would spray it. Or spray it the night before you know you don't have to spray it every time you use it just depending all right so that's how it looks that's the color you see that that's like a dark blonde slash light brown the roots are dark I think I'm gonna leave the roots dark I'm gonna try or should we just do the whole thing you know what it's since it's only one time one day let's do the whole thing let's see even though like I said in real life I like to keep the roots dark I love that that's called smudging that gives contrast that's a wonderful look you know, if you guys are out there coloring your hair and stuff, keep the roots dark. It, you know, it gives a contrast. All right, so again, alcohol-based, it's, so it's very drying. Uh, we got the shirt. We're going to take, you know, I'm going to make sure to protect my eyes here. Um, what else? All right, and let's do it. Let's see how this works, okay? Let's see, guys, real quick. With no further ado, let's find out and give it our star rating. Okay, here we go. Shake it up real good. Be very careful. The nozzle, it was all pointed backwards. I'm going to just point it frontwards. Always do that. You know, I learned that the hard way too. You could start spraying and oops, the nozzle's pointed towards you. No good. No good. Get the nozzle right. Okay, I'm going to set this on my towel that I pulled just for this. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray. Here we go, guys. I probably should have on gloves for this, but that's okay. Okay. Resisting it a little bit, but it's, it's taking. 
It's taking. All right, all right. There we go. I do have an extra bottle, an extra can. So I might have to do that. Wow, okay, okay. This color is beautiful, you guys. This color is beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's see so far. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it turned out beautiful, beautiful color for, okay. You see, you guys, you see the non-sprayed non, um, part? That side, I didn't spray yet. This side I sprayed, you see that? Doesn't show up that well on camera, but you get it. It's the rose gold. Very subtle, warm, strawberry-ish, strawberry brown kind of kind of color. Okay, it's like a pinky, like a pinky brown. You know, a perfect blend of pink and brown, which I think looks great, especially if you have a warm toned complexion with freckles. Kind of your if your regular hair is kind of like a mousy color. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so for for those of us with those kind of skin tones, this color is really beautiful. I think it's very becoming. So. There we go. I'm going to just do it a little more. All right. Now I'm going over the blonde, which takes better than the darker, I'm noticing, of course. Easier to put color over lighter. Being careful. Being ever so careful. Okay, you know what? Every time I use this product, every time I use this product, I am so amazed because it's so, you know, simple. It's in a can, okay? It's a spray in a can and it works. It does exactly what it says. It says rose gold, one day color in a can. That's exactly what it gives you. Rose gold to the T uh, in a can. <laughs> and here we go. We just put rose gold colored spray l'oreal colorista on a synthetic wig this is what it looks like now i only did one side so you can see the difference there's the uncolored side that's the original and there's the rose gold okay sprayed on mm -hmm. don't know if you guys are getting a really good view of this here i'm gonna actually try it on okay so let's see let's see picture is worth a thousand words right all right, take off my glasses here, get my ponytail holder. Okay, you guys. Thank you for being so patient. Okay, watch this now, watch this, okay? So, remember I said it has three combs. There's the one in the back. There's the one, and there's the one on the side, okay? And here's the one on the other side. All right, so let's just see. How this looks. Okay, bend your head forward. Just be be real careful, obviously, because that color is hanging out on there. It's not totally dry. Okay. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, you guys see? Okay, so this is the rose gold colored side, and this is the original blonde side. Okay, you guys get it? Where am I? I'm like looking into the, okay, you guys get it? You get it? Got it? Good. Okay. That's it. That's it. This is a nice, beautiful synthetic wig. Okay. And there you go. You can tuck it. Now, one thing I want to show you is so versatile, these wigs. I'm telling you. Okay. I went from frizzy hair to, and you guys can do this too. You can go from your hair's, your regular hair is being frizzy. It's summertime. It's hot. It's, you know, you got to go to work. You got to go to church. You got to go meet somebody. I don't know. A million things. You want to run your errands and look put together and not be a big frizz ball. Okay. So buy you one of these. It's so worth it. If this one, I honestly think was one of the most expensive. It was like $60, but usually they're like 35, you know, and that's, again, this is a short one. It's a short bob. It's kind of graduated. You can tell graduated, meaning it's shorter in the back, longer in the front. Um, I also have a woman I go to at the JCPenney salon um, and she'll actually cut wigs. You know, you can find somebody in your area. If you guys need some uh, referrals, I can give you some of the girl. 
but um yeah i mean they'll they'll go ahead if you buy a wig and it's it's the perfect color it's the perfect you know fits you but it's like the wrong length you just need a cut they can do that at some of the salons and you know you can find some people sometimes that'll do it out of their house you know you just you know pay them a small fee and they'll go ahead and, and make it you know they'll make it more fitted to you okay because some some you know obviously wigs come cut differently you know some are layered some are um graduated some are non-graduated you know just straight across blunt um so whatever fits your you know however you like to wear it so yeah i am really feeling this you guys you see this it's it's the camera is not doing it justice but there rose gold okay rose gold out of a can l'oreal colorista this is the non-colored side um one thing i want to show you too when you have a wig if you guys decide to go to that level get you one of these okay this is for what you can do then is to make it look more realistic is you can pull a little hair out okay just a little bit right to make your hairline a little bit more um oops a little bit more i don't know a little more realistic looking okay and then it's got this little brush on one end so you can like you know you can take care of them baby hairs they like to call them you know I mean, some girls really get into it and, and make a lot of baby hairs and like it's a whole art to it. And it really does. It frames your face better when you're, you know, when your face framing hairs are are groomed. And and I have thinning, you guys. So no matter what, my, my edges are hard to deal with. But, you know, you're going to, this little, this little tool helps, okay? It's also good. Yeah, you can shape and whatever. A really little piece of hair. Okay. Oh, I just got, okay. One thing too, precautions. Okay. Um, the color will get on your skin, but you see how easily it comes off. Obviously I'm going to wash my hands and wash my face, but yeah. Okay. So, um, definitely five star product. I rate this five stars. Okay. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. Now again, on camera, it's showing up more of an orangey, but in person, it is more of a brownie, a pinkish brown. Okay. Or brownish pink, however you want to say. Um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Rose gold. When you picture the color rose gold, this is this color. Okay. So it worked on synthetic, on a synthetic wig. All right. Um, now who is this for? Who would these products be for? Anybody, any, you know, any person specifically, you know, if you have problems with your hair, if you, even if you don't, if you have good hair, but say you have long hair and you want to experiment with short hair, get a wig, you know, say, you know, I'd really like to try a short bob, you know, or your hair is medium length, but you want to wear it short, you know, for, for an outfit or for a picture or for something, you know, um, wigs are a great way to experiment. Also too, you can experiment with colors with wigs, you know, say if your real hair is dark or your real hair is dyed red you know you can wear your blonde wig right oh oops okay i went red for the summer but you know what maybe it's a friday and you're feeling like being blonde again or the outfit you're wearing goes better with blonde hair i'm telling you versatile and and it's you know budget friendly budget friendly you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good you know that's the whole point you know especially nowadays you don't have money to waste so you know um coloring your hair and stuff might not always be affordable you know it's a treat i i do it myself but i only do it a couple times a year that's about all i can afford so in the meantime wigs especially synthetics are a good way to experiment with different colors you know the blondes the browns the reds especially with the reds because there's all different shades you know dark reds light reds fuchsias you know colors you wouldn't normally dye your real hair the like the orange that lady gaga wore in, in you know a star is born you know i mean that's a hard color to wear in real life um, all the time but it's nice to have a you know a wig to play with that color to go out or something girls night or I don't know you know I don't know for what reason anybody would need orange hair but it surely looked good it can look good some of us look good in orange okay and it's a little loud but it, it's a it's a nice so anyways in that situation maybe instead of dyeing your real hair you know orange I'm not talking red I'm talking orange like Lady Gaga and shit in you know the movie Star is Born um you know, have a wig. That way you can experience what you want to experience, but without the commitment. Okay. So, um, this is for anybody, especially I would say this color, this particular color, the rose gold, I would definitely say it's for more warmer skin tones, um, undertones. So you, it, it's, if you guys don't know your undertones, there's only two, there's warm or cool, uh, warmer undertones tend to have like freckles, tend to have like a more mousy colored hair even if it's dark even if it's brown or like a medium brown it'll be kind of mousy so not real not real deep 
okay and and colors tend to stick to it real good and uh i think the rose gold hue blends in really well okay um so yeah l'oreal colorista one day hairspray uh where to get it i ordered it online uh walmart sells it amazon sells it um walgreens sells it but they're hard to find i think they go pretty quickly so just order online if you can't find it at the store matter of fact save yourself the time just order it online you know free shipping if you order so much product right um also sally's has it wait does sally's have wait don't quote me sally's has some of course but i don't know ulta has that though and ulta usually has them in stock just uh for the record so yeah Again, um, I rate these both five stars, and I don't say that lightly. I say that because they do what they said they were going to do. It said one day hair color spray rose gold, and that's exactly what it did, you know? Um, that's exactly what it gave me. All right, so there's no links today. If you have any comments, uh, if you guys have tried hair color before, uh, if you've worn wigs, if you have any comments you want to make on it, any tips, let's share with each other. We're here you know, we're all trying to save money and find good quality products. You know, I think this is one of them. Um, you know, I, you guys can email me. You can share this video. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and the notification bell, please. And, uh, but I mean, only if you want to, you know, if you want to get more content and if you, you like this, then please like and subscribe. If not, that's okay. So otherwise, thank you so much for your time. You guys have a good rest of the week. Thanks. Bye-bye.